Let's take a look at using Vocaline 6 Pro in Cubase Pro. Now, although I'm using Vocaline Pro in this tutorial, a lot of what I'm saying can also be applied to Vocaline Standard. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so I have a bunch of vocal tracks over here. Essentially, we have two lead vocals, and then we have a set of harmonies. Let's have a quick listen. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away, lift you up higher. If I could, I would take your place. Okay, so overall, not a bad performance, but we definitely have some timing issues between all of these tracks. And in addition to that, we need to clean up the tuning. Because with Vocaline 6 Pro, we can take the timing and the tuning of the female lead vocal, and we can impart that onto the male lead vocal. But for these two background harmonies, we're actually going to use a brand new feature in Vocaline 6 Pro, which is called Smart Pitch to take care of this issue. Okay, so let's start off. I am going to select both of these audio events and I can choose the audio option. And then if I head over to the extensions, notice that we have the option to choose Vocaline Pro. In addition to that, if you have your inspector open, we can also find that down here. So let's go ahead, we'll add an instance of Vocaline 6 Pro for each of these. We'll make sure that that extension has been added. And now if I was to double click either one of these events, notice that we have a brand new GUI, Vocaline 6 Pro. We're gonna talk about this in a moment. So this has been added to each one of these audio events. Well, let's start off with our guide. We have our female lead vocal. So with this audio event selected, let's go ahead and click capture. And you can see that this has now been added. Now next up, I am going to choose my male lead vocal. And let's go ahead and capture this as a dub. Now, if you know the preset that you want to work with ahead of time, you can choose this, but it's also worth mentioning that both Vocaline Pro and Vocaline Standard will use the last settings used as the starting point. So let's go ahead and capture this dub. As you can see, this has already been rendered and it is instantly ready for playback. Let's solo out the two of these. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Okay, so we have a scroll bar at the very bottom of Vocaline over here. We can use this to move to the left or right if you need to hone in on a very specific section. Also worth mentioning that we do have drag handles as well. This can be useful if you're really trying to zone in on something. Now, another feature that we see with Vocaline 6 Pro is if we head over to the right side over here, we have the ability to toggle on and off the visibility of these different panels. So for example, if you were only working with the timing aspect, then you wouldn't need to see anything else. We could just make sure that that's visible. Let's go ahead and actually zoom in a little bit on this section and let's take a look what happens when I take the match timing preference off. You can see the overlay in yellow and the purple waveform. This is how much the timing has been adjusted on this performance to get this to sit in the pocket with each other. Let's bring in the show match pitch option and let's also toggle over to the show pitch option over here. Now with this over here and the match pitch, watch what happens if I toggle this off. Notice that the female lead vocals pitch, which is displayed in yellow over here, when the match pitch option is on, and I have these set to be fully aggressive, this is imparting the female lead vocalist pitch directly on top of the male lead vocal. If I take this off, notice that we see those deviations, but when I enable this, and this is using the nearest octave as a target mode. So that's it, we have these first two done. And let's have one more quick listen to that. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain, until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Okay, perfect. I'm very happy with that. Let's move on now to these other two harmonies. So what I'm going to do is with each of these tracks selected, like I said, either by selecting the audio events themselves and heading to the audio menu, or by choosing the inspector option, we are going to add an instance of Vocaline Pro to each one of these. So we're going to go to extension, Vocaline Pro. So now this has been added, all we have to do is double click over here and we can open this in the editor. Now another big feature request that we had from users was having the ability to add process groups to Vocaline. So this is something that has been added in Vocaline 6 Pro. If you want to capture more than one track and you wanna have the same settings applied to all of those tracks, whether that's two tracks or 10 tracks, this is an amazing option. So with both of these events selected over here, I'm going to go to the drop down menu in the dub section and I'm going to choose new group for next capture. This is automatically created group one and let us go ahead and capture this now. 
Now in this case over here, because we're using a DAW that follows track selection, it's very easy for us to just select an audio event and this will automatically update the dubs. But we can also right click and choose the select audio option. So here is our original male background vocal. And if we scroll over here, we have our female. And we scroll over here, we have our male BV harm. In this case though, I'm going to use a very specific preset. I'm going to head over to the preset menu and let's choose slightly loose timing plus pitch, match unison and tune harmony. This is part of the new smart pitch features that was added to Vocaline Pro. And if we take a look at the match pitch section over here and we scroll down, in fact, let's just hide the timing for a moment. We have these smart pitch modes. So we have match alt to guide, that's pretty self-explanatory. We have match unison only, and then we have match unison and tune non-unison. This preset is incredibly powerful because essentially what this allows us to do is we can match the timing of the lead vocal to the harmonies, both of them, because they're both part of a group. Anything that we do will be applied to these together. But in addition to that, if we head over to the pitch section, watch what happens when I disable the pitch. It's very subtle. You can see this slight shift over here. Maybe let's select a different one. Let's select the male vocal. This one should be a little bit more visible. If I take the match pitch and I bring this in and out, notice that this is just tightening up the pitch trace of the male vocal over here. And basically what is happening here is that this is tuned 100% based on the sung performance to the nearest semitone. So let's go back to our main display over here. What I'm gonna do now is let's have a quick play of the before from the beginning of the video. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. And now let's listen to the after. I'd fight all your fire, carry your pain until it's lighter. If I could, I would cry all your teardrops, wash them away. Okay, so we're working with Cubase Pro, which is an ARA compatible DAW, which means that at the end of the day, if you wanted to keep your session in this state where you could constantly tweak this and go back and finesse this until you're perfectly happy with this, you could definitely do this. You could even export your final mix with this, but it's a pretty good idea to actually render your processing once you're happy with that. So that's something that we can do by going to audio. We can go to the extensions and then we have the option to make extension permanent. So we can do that for each one of these. And now we're actually rendering this processing directly into the actual audio events themselves, make extension permanent. We'll go to our lead vocal over here, do the same thing, make extension permanent. And then this one over here, we don't need to worry about this for now because it wasn't actually doing anything. This was just serving as our guide. So now with everything in place, let's have a listen to our final result. So that's using Vocaline Pro with Cubase Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.